Now in this question we're given this light string with a particle P then attached and held out by this force of 12 newtons. And we've got to find the tension in the string. Well first of all we need to put the forces in on this diagram. So make sure you do do a sketch like this. So what are the forces? Well we've got the weight of the particle. We're not told its mass. So what I'm going to do is just put the weight in so that acts downwards and call it W. W newtons will be the weight. We need to put the tension in. The tension acts on the particle P in this direction. So we'll just put that in as an arrow up there and I'm going to call that T for tension and don't forget the units newtons. Right then, well in the first question we need to find the tension, so this is part A. And to do this I'm going to need to resolve. And I don't want to get W involved in this part, I just want T. So the best way to resolve is horizontally. So I'm going to look at these two directions, horizontal and vertical. And looking at this diagram here, we've got alternate angles here. So this angle up here will be this 20 degrees. So we'll just pop that in as 20 degrees. So when it comes to resolving, I'm going to resolve horizontally and I'm going to take towards the left as being positive. So indicate that by way of an arrow like that. So when we resolve to the left, we're looking at the components of T that acts to the left. And that will be this component here of T. Now, this angle here isn't the 20 degrees in this 90 here, it excludes this 20. So when you exclude an angle, it becomes the sine of 20. The component becomes T sine 20. So we'll put that in as T sine 20. The W, the weight, has no effect in this direction because it is perpendicular to the horizontal here. So we can ignore this W. Moving on to the 12 newtons, all of the 12 newtons acts towards the right. So that's opposing this direction, so that would be minus 12. And this is the resultant force acting on the particle in a horizontal direction. And that resultant force, because it's in equilibrium, is zero. So now all I need to do is rearrange this equation for t. So if I add 12 to both sides and then divide by sine 20, I will get t equals 12 divided by the sine of 20 degrees. Working that out on a calculator gives t to be 35.0856 and so on. And rounding that to say three significant figures, means that the tension T is 35.1 newtons, don't forget the units, to three significant figures. And that brings us to the end of part A. Now in part B we're asked to find the weight. The weight, in this case, W. So in order to do that I'm going to resolve and we resolve in the vertical sense and I'm going to take downwards as being positive. I don't have to but I've decided to take downwards as positive purely because it will give me a plus W. So resolving downwards then we have W, all of W acts downwards, so that's all of W. Looking at the tension, because part of the tension, the component of tension acting upwards would be this value here, which would be T cos 20. It's cosine because the angle is included in the direction that we want to go in. Okay? When it's excluded, it's sine. When it's included, it's cos. So that would be T cos 20. And it is in the opposite direction to the arrow, so that would be minus T cos 20 degrees. As for the 12 newtons, this doesn't feature at all in this equation because it's perpendicular to the direction that we're resolving in. 
So this is the resultant force acting on P in the vertical direction and because it's in equilibrium there is no resultant force, it will equal zero. So rearranging this for W, we see that W equals T cos 20 degrees. We know that T from the earlier part was 35.0856 and so on, so I'll just write that in, 35.0856 and so on. And that's going to be multiplied by the cosine of 20 degrees. And if you left that on the calculator, all you've got to do then is just type in cos 20 and what you'll get is 32.969 and so on. So we round that to say three significant figures and that would be 33.0 newtons, again don't forget the units, to three significant figures, 3SF for short. And that brings us now to the end of this question.